Remake, 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 remake. Be willing to remake in your closet. Um, I found a box after the fire of some things I thought were lost, but they were some summer garments, and I realized I wasn't going to wear this garment anymore the way it was, and I took it out, and I cut it up, and I remade it again, which now I love it. So look at how it looks with a shrug over it, okay? So this is something that you um, see the measurements for in my uh, current journal post there, and check it out because you're going to want to have at least one of these. So I love the combination, and you can see with this garment, it's just killer, just killer. It's the killer layer. Um, so as you can see when we start off, and there are more stills and all kinds of info about this one, sometimes you've got like the cool piece, like I printed this piece and I cut holes in this piece using the paint to kind of seal the fabric. And that piece sat for a while, and fortunately, it was still in my life. And I went, you know, I love that. I'm going to make it. And really quick and easy, it made this sweet little shrug, which is my everyday go-to wear it all the time shrug. So I love the way it looks over the top of this white piece. And let's let's look at the white piece for a minute here. So here's the piece I remade. Loving it now. Don't have a picture might have one to put in the journal post, but um, it was much busier. I know some of you were saying, this is pretty busy now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it had way more pattern going on. And I realized I really am more drawn to less pattern right now. And it had a lot <clears throat> of this, which is hand-painted fabric by my son, Miles Frody. So this whole piece I've added back in, this was all much darker and heavier, way more busy, way more pattern. I took it out, I put something else in, I intersected it with some darts. Um, the cool thing about this kind of making, if you're not, if you haven't really d been diving into it yet, is that it is a level of problem solving that you're not gonna get any other way. Um, I love, making all kinds of things, but I learn so much more and the process of remaking is so much more creative and works that, works that um, muscle, that creative muscle you have in an entirely different way than other kinds of making. One of the things about this garment is it's a combination of a stretchy t-shirt knit, which is this. So you see that piece in there mm -hmm. and this is the collar. There's a shirt in here. So this is the collar. And you can see here's one side of the collar. And as it attaches here, it becomes the perfect place for a buttonhole. I just went, oh yeah, that is so right, right there. And the other piece comes up and buttons here at the shoulder. So sometimes you may start with one thing you know for sure. Like I laid the collar on and went, oh, I love that. So that stayed on the dress form for a while as I worked other things towards it. Um, this piece that's the other side of the collar was actually part of the original hem. So when that got cut off, I threw it up there and went, oh, that's, that's pretty nice. I think I want that. And the other thing I've added is this really beautiful embroidered piece, which it's like a one and some, but not a lot. And I like the way it melds with the stitching. I've allowed the stitching to show, you know, that technique where you serge or stitch and then you pull the seam apart so you actually see the seam um, because of the, of the thread there. So the combination of hand stitching, pressing, pleats, tucks, I've added back in the gray fabric, which I like a lot better, kind of brings the eye down and around in an interesting sort of way and love a small bit of Miles fabric on the back, and this is another really fun uh, favorite. I've even moved some of the, you know, I moved some of the pieces around a couple times. I had this pocket kind of over the front. I realized, no, you need that gray piece coming all the way down. So the com the combination is everything. You know, the hand stitching, mm -hmm. the combination. I sp I pay more attention to the combination of what I'm gonna to put together. And that's sometimes construction for me is more spontaneous and happens quickly. 
Um, and there are always places where it works me and I need to think about it and um, let it sit for a while. You know, coming back into the gray with a little bit of white hand stitching really kind of blended that because the gray was kind of stark, even though you might say the black is stark. But I kind of felt like that kind of blended the gray into these into these other pieces. So I just, it's a really, it's a sweet combination and it's another really fun summertime, uh, summertime sh short uh, tunic piece. Thank you.